sound. Gonna ruin the sound. Good morning, Kate. It's Thursday and I am at the High Line. Actually, it's Wednesday, but it's really nice outside today, like in the 50s in January. So I wanted to film outside. I love the High Line because unlike Central Park, which sort of hides and cuts you off from the city, the High Line actually immerses you in it. The nature, which grows out of an old subway track, is part of the city. You can see the buildings, you can see the streets, and the park just emphasizes how all these old, old buildings combine with nature to make this great scene. I just finished having lunch with my sister uh, because it is restaurant week. It's actually like the tail end of restaurant week, which is really more like restaurant month. Stop being so loud, New York. It's ridiculous. Now it's Thursday, and I'm back with my fresh from the salon, red hair, back in my apartment, in my bedroom now, rather than on the High Line. Uh, I ended up not finishing the video there like I had initially intended to. Holding the video camera up to your face is, it's tiring. It's very tiring. I'm not going to lie. My camera's on my bed, balanced on a stack of Harry Potters, as well as Narnia, which is very appropriate because that's where you live. <laughs> I did something dumb the other day. <laughs> I went out for Australia Day. Australia Day. Yeah. And we went to the Sunburnt Calf because my manager, her husband, is the owner of the Sunburnt Calf. You know it, Australian bar. They had an ice luge. So I took a picture of it to send to you, and I just texted it to you, and I was like, Australia Day. Yeah. And then I was really upset because days passed and you didn't send me a text back. And then I realized that I texted it on your American number. Happy belated Straya Day! You asked about the weather. It was really nice yesterday. But other than that, it's been cold. And like, not even the fun cold. We got like one day of snow and then it just rains. All the time. Just rain. Finished reading Middlesex. It was very good. Um, I think you'd really like it. I've never read The Virgin Suicides, but Erin said it's like 10 times better. And I tend to trust her, though she didn't like Anna Karenina, so I guess she's not that trustworthy. I am now reading a book on my Kindle called John Dies at the End. We'll see. I may have made an awful mistake and started watching Downton Abbey. Uh, I resisted for so long and now I just, I can't stop watching. I, I have to know what happens with Mary and Matthew, what happens with Lady Sybil and Lady Edith, and, and with Anne and Mr. Bates! Mr. Bates! I wish there was more to report, but it's pretty quiet here on the Western Front. I can say that now, ha <laughs> So yeah, excited to see your new house, really looking forward to it. I'll see you next week. I want to have like a special little sign off. I don't have one. What's a particularly American goodbye that doesn't make me sound like a jackass? Wobbly 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 wobbly. <laughs>